When we got the news that we were going to be in Namibia, I mean, we were like ecstatic, man. We got a call from Namibia to approach um, um, Valfi's bay, if I'm correct, in Reobos. So the morning we got to the, the airport. It was a feeling like no other, and I just remember the Friday morning getting out, feeling all anxious to go to the airport. In this time, we were warned about the temperatures and the climate change there, it's a bit different than in South Africa. People told us about this weather, but I don't think we were ready for it. We got out of the airplane, as we got out of the airplane, wow, well, it felt like a heat that was going through your body, because it was hot, hot. No, this is 21 degrees, this is 21. I remember just walking through the airport or trying to rush to get to the airport because we had a summer idea that the airport would be definitely way cooler than what it is outside. Outside of the airport then I just got this strange feeling in my body. I'm not sure what it was but I think I, I was overwhelmed, overexcited. It was just pushing, my brain it was rushing, blood was pumping at that moment but I was just going with the flow. So the guy arrives. We get into our cars, and it's two cars, um, so we split up. Got into the car, and for a, a second, it's like my brain just went blank. All of a sudden, midway, I think we just, I think the front car just stopped, and it pulled over. I think when we pulled over, I think someone, the driver told us, uh, one of the members are getting sick, they're getting a seizure. Well, a heat stroke. And and we were like, what the hell? And we got out and it was crazy, crazy. Carla was getting a seizure in the back of the car. I actually realized that we were in a mobile and I actually had a seizure. That's what actually happened to me that day. And I was like, whoa. Well, I actually be able to pull off the show that Friday night. That's how I felt, basically. But I went to my room. After recovering a bit, the guy said me, um, let me get some rest for the hour or two. And they told me that they will sort out everything for tonight. So crazy, as you can see the stage is so big, right? So, Aaron will be you, Aaron's you. Um, yeah, you're gonna come out from there. Wait guys, wait for me, you run forward, and then you do... Cool, got it. Um, is there anything you must know? I ended up taking a video for Carlo to, you know, um, just give him like an image, uh, a, 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 a suitable image for him to work on while he's laying and resting. They came back to me, they checked up on me, showered, everything, got ready for the show, and they just came to sit by me just to make sure that I'm still in it for tonight, actually. By just getting to the venue, you could feel the excitement. The Unknown Show just brought out the best and most wholesome feeling to the town. The moment we walked out on stage, hey man, they, I think I couldn't even hear the music. That was probably our loudest response that we ever got. Went on stage and whoa, it was an amazing, amazing, amazing feeling from the movie that we got. From the moment the crew stepped onto the stage till that moment of the last dance move, they were like nothing Wolfers has ever experienced. And we loved it. And you know what, what was cool about it is that people do not know that like how much obstacles we had to overcome that same day of the day we arrived in Namibia. So I would like to say thank you to those guys actually for giving that motivation at the end of the day. And for me that's something else because I felt so motivated at the end of the day because I'm epileptic but I'm still a motivation to many people out there. And for us as dancers it's a bit tough to actually go that way. 
because it's not easy because you need to watch climate and all of those stuff that I was not aware of. But at the end of it, I pushed through. I pushed through. And I believe that mm, there are many chances for us to actually pull through and actually make it at the end of the day. Here we go. One, two, three.